Hey guys, um, this is my very first video. I'm so indecisive about actually like posting this because I've been wanting to post a YouTube video for the longest now, but I've always had that, eh, I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna get enough views, I don't know what's gonna happen. But today I woke up and I was just like, you know what? You need to just do what you want to do. Like, just go for it. Don't worry if it's not going to get enough views. At the end of the day, you're happy that you actually did something that you wanted to do. Right? Am I right? Like I said, this is my first video, so bear with me. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm trying so hard to make it as perfect as I can. And the eyebrows because I'm growing them out. But it's so hard. Has anybody ever had to, like, deal with growing their eyebrows because I always am like, okay, I'm gonna grow my eyebrows out. And then the moment I see them get very like manly, I'm like, okay, time to tweeze these bad boys. Time to First, tweeze. First, we are going to apply the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. And that is this bad boy right here. So I'm gonna put this all over my face. Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Foundation. This, I love this foundation. I've always loved this foundation. And I am in 220 Natural Beige. It's dirty. I'm sorry, but some good foundation right here. Okay, so I'm just going to dot this. All right, now that we're dotted everywhere, I'm gonna take my beauty blender, it's damp, and I'm just going to push it all in the skin. Just recently bought this, like, two or three days ago and I really, really actually like This is the NYX Conceal Correct Contour and um, I got it in 3CP01 light. We are going to put this banana shade right here. We're gonna put that all under our eyes to brighten them up. See how bright? Do you see that difference though? Do you see it though? Do you see it? Revolution Makeup Ultra Cover and Conceal Palette and it is in medium and dark and I got this at Ulta as well which I really love mixing I love these palettes for mixing because they're so convenient because you can just mix you know what colors you need for your skin oh you know? I mixed these three right here Okay, now that I look freaking crazy, I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend it all out.
All right, now that we are all blended out, wow, wow can't, why can't my face look like this every single day? Like, wow. So now that we got our face situated and we got it all concealed, contoured, and everything, I am going to set my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder and transparent. And I already hit pan, so I need another one. I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer, this, on my contour areas. the brows. Now for this I'm going to have to steal a mirror from this palette right here because I cannot do my eyebrows with just looking at this thing, okay? So I always use this because I normally use the Anastasia Pal Palmade, 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 but um, it's like too harsh on my eyebrows so like I only use that on the just the outer part of like mainly to outline and everything I normally use the Milani brow fix brow kit and I use the color it's like all peeled see can't even read it great it just looks like that and I obviously use that shade a lot because it hit pan I normally take I got these at the drugstore there they the eco I think tools brushes or whatever they look like that any like brush, angled brush that's really good will do. But I use this and I just use the darker shade. And then I take some of that and I just put it all like towards the bottom. So now that I did that with that, they kind of look okay, but me, knowing me, I like to kind of um, make the ends a little more sharp. So I take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown, and I normally put some of this on the lid and I'll just take it from there because you do not, do not need a lot of this because it really goes a very long way and you don't want like markered eyebrows, okay? So then I just basically do that right there. Like, I don't know if anybody else says this, but sometimes I pinch to make it way more sharper. I'm just taking the NYX br um, brow mascara, <laughs> the tinted brow gel thing, and I'm just gonna swing this on the eyebrows.
I have a nose itch. Okay, so now that the brows are done, I normally take, I hate hairs that flow right behind your freaking arm, but I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Cream Concealer. I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to sculpt the end of my brows. I normally don't do this for every day, but for the sake of the video, I think I'm just gonna do it today. Just because this is my first video. So, I'm just gonna put about a dot here and a dot there. That out on my finger. Okay, so now the eyebrows are done, and now we are going to move on to the eyes. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I take take a Makeup Geek eyeshadow and frappe, dust this all over. Okay, like that. Then I'm going to take um, eyeshadow like thing, and I, this color is in 95 Coral Aces, and I love, these two are missing, but I love this orange shade. So, I think for brown eyes, I normally do this every day because it just brightens up, it like makes my brown eyes pop, which with the orange color, and I love, I love it. So I'm going to put this just over what we just put. You see, I just feel like it just makes my eyes pop. <laughs> and I use this, I've used this eyeliner for so long and everything has been marked off. Like there's nothing, no number, no nothing on here. But it's just the drugstore, you know, this kind of, this kind of tip, like kind of applicator. So I normally just like wipe some of it off because it's a little too much. And then I just go for it. Let's see if I can actually do this good. See, I can always do one and then it's the other one that I'm just like. So I'm going to take just a regular black eyeliner. I got this overseas, so. If you have this, you know, it's great. If not, any black eyeliner would do. You just put this, I put this on my tiered up on the top and bottom. I hate looking at people do this so much because I hate stuff that go in the eye anyways. So it creeps me out. I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is from Sephora, just a regular pencil brush. And I'm going to take that frappe color from Makeup Geek and I'm going to put this right down the bottom. And then I'm gonna take that same orange shade that I used from the Maybelline Quad thing and I'm gonna put that. This is what I think really makes the eyes pop is the black eyeliner, the black um, the black pencil, and then just the orange around it. I don't know. 
It's just so beautiful to me. Especially for brown eyes. But this will make any eye pop. I feel like blue, green, oh my gosh. If you have any other color but brown. So beautiful. I'm going to just put a coat of mascara. Because I'm going to put on, I'm going to try these new falsies that I got. But we're going to see how they look. If they're a little too much, I might just end up taking them off. But I normally, every day, I do not wear false eyelashes. But just for the sake of this video, I thought, you know, why not? These are the Ardell Glamour Wispy, but these are in the number 106. Just going to add some glue, and I use the Duo Dark. Okay. Wow, that was really easy to apply. I normally struggle. Like, even when the glue is tacky, I normally struggle. And, I'm, and I was freaking out. I was like, how am I going to do this on camera? I can barely even do it in real life, let alone in front of a camera. Uh, I feel like this is the eye that I'm going to struggle with. Okay, I got them on. Oh my gosh, I really like them. Next, I am going to just add a little bit more of those colors that I added. Just because with the lashes, I feel like it needs just a little bit more color. So I just put the frappe. I'm just going to put that all over on both sides. And then I'm going to add the orange shade. Such a pretty freaking shade, man. And I'm just going to dust it where I just put that stuff. And this is just a thy look. And I'm going to put a little bit more of just the orange. I'm not going to put any more of the frappe on the bottom because I really want this orange to really pop like that. Next, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I forgot to put this highlighter on whenever I did my makeup. I just forgot you know happens a lot put some of this highlighter on the top of my cheekbones And then I am going to, last but not the least, I'm going to put on thy lips. This is my freaking go-to favorite lip color ever. This is the Gerard Cosmetics lip color in Hydra Matte in Serenity. And I freaking love this color so much, so much. And also, another thing that I pair with this look mainly is um, Max Lipstick and Velvet Teddy. I always use that color. But today I'm going for more like pinkish color, I guess. So. And I love these lip colors because they're not like, they're not the type that are so dry that give you that like line thing in there. Because I freaking hate those kind. This off. Shake my hair out. So this is the complete look. 
that I just did for you guys and it is the liner and lashes and pink lip but I'm so happy that you guys came by this video and just watched it and I appreciate it so much. This is for the hundredth time my very first video so we will just see how this goes. If this is something that is going pretty good, I will continue doing it. But if not, oh well, I am so happy that I went out of my comfort zone and I actually did something that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time and actually tied the knot and I actually did it. Like I wasn't very like, okay, I'll see how it goes. I'll see if I want to do it. I don't, either personally, I didn't want to post a video just because, um, just because my quality I knew was not gonna be good because I am filming on an iPhone right now because I do not have a very nice, do you really have to mow your grass right now? Like just wait a couple minutes, I'm almost done. But I did not have an, um, a regular camera to film. So if this is something that is really good and you guys want to see more videos, just let me know in the comments down below and I will invest in a really nice camera and I'll start doing this more often. That's the reason why I didn't start because I was like, I don't want to start because I know the quality isn't going to be that good and such. So I was pretty like nervous and stuff so that's the reason why I didn't do it but today I was just like you know what what the heck I should start I need to start off somewhere you know I need to start off with just the web bleh, just the iPhone camera or webcam whatever you have just do what you love and don't think that you just because you're not as good as these other youtubers or don't have your good quality like them or whatever that you can't do it because you can you just have to have faith and just Pray that everything will be okay and if you try you know even if it doesn't go far you at least feel really good inside that you tried and you actually did something that you've been wanting to do so that's what I did here so let me know thumbs up this video if you want to see more give me more requests down below something that you want to see next or if you like these videos then just let me know so Hope you guys have a great day, and yeah, that's it. Bye.